it's the day before the show. It's like four o'clock, almost the night before the show, and we're still trying to get the clothes ready. This is the vest, beautiful golden color, and yeah, it's still getting sewn. Feeling really lucky to have our own in-house seamstress, though. My mommy! Love you, mom! But I did grab some gloves and a helmet that can handle all of her hair from the tack and feed shop. Still missing a shirt and a couple of other things. Which reminds me, gotta go and buy makeup. Eight o'clock at night, the night before the show, and we are running out trying to get a couple of last minute things. Running into Sally's, we need a hairnet and hair gel. Here are the hairnets. I hope this works. She has a lot of hair, so <laughs> yeah. We're about to go into Ulta because I don't use foundation or concealer or none of that. I just put powder on my face. That's not gonna cut it. So we're literally out here getting all the essentials for the horse show the night before the horse show. In the very last store, looking for a button-up shirt in the men's section. Her vest is yellow, so blue would be nice but we're having a difficult time finding her size because you know she's a girl and these are men's shirts. So we're looking for a slim fit, 14 inch neck. There are no 14 and a halves. They are all gone. We are trying the women's section. The only problem with this is that the collars tend to be a little small and the arms tend to be a little short. <laughs> But, you know, we're down to the wire because we procrastinated a little bit and we pretty much have no choice. So, yeah. All right, I'm thinking this one will work. Let's see the neck. How does it look on the neck? And that'll do. Let's go. <laughs> Don't choke. Saturday morning. Morning of the show. We have to leave in like one hour and we're still getting ready. <sighs> Car is packed. All right. We're only about 15 minutes behind schedule. Somebody's getting excited. Look at that hair all slicked down. Yeah. All right, come on, let's go, let's go. No more time to play, let's go. We're here. I'm like kind of nervous because I know my form can suck sometimes, but overall, I think I'm gonna do pretty good. We're about to go to the barn where they are at so we're not late for our class because we're running late like always yeah <laughs> our barn colors are blue and gray and we're in the little dressing area where you're supposed to be getting dressed yeah. so come on let's do this here is the blue shirt that we bought last night hope it looks good because i have no idea yeah, you can't go wrong with blue and yellow we got all of our little worker bees in here Primping and prepping, adding the little straps to the bottom of her pants so they don't ride up while she's riding. Got to put the gloves on. Okay, so I bought these gloves the other night. Oh, it's the wrong one. There we go. And her shirt is a little bit shorter than we want it to be. So I cut some socks, put some socks on her hands, and now we're going to slide the gloves on and use some tape to cover up anything that's not black so you don't even notice that she doesn't have all the way black gloves. <laughs> yeah, genius. Black electrical tape. She is so into her phone. What are you doing right now? Insta storying. Insta storying. <laughs> so make sure to go follow Bella of My Froggy Stuff because. Yeah, she's like on her phone nonstop. All right, here's your number. It is 114. 114. What's your number? 114. 114. Just doing those finishing touches. Oh, wow, that hair is laying down. Amazing. All right, come on out. Let's see ya. What? So I'm dressed now after like three hours of pain and torture. So I'm dressed and my hair is laid. I was worried about it because I've never laid my hair before, but it worked and we did it and I'm never doing this again. So, <laughs> eh. <laughs> but it's like fun. Um, I'm, I'm nervous kind of for the show, but I just have to remember to smile. I think my form is going to be okay. I won't suck. So. Now it's just hurry up and wait. So we got here at 11. The show started at 12. Her class is like, what, like 10 down? So 
Yeah. And she's got two classes, and they're like 10 in to the show. There's no times for this. You pretty much just wait. And wait. And wait. And, yeah. and wait. And if you leave, you miss your class, that's your fault. So you just stand here and wait. Yeah. Looking mighty comfy. Looking Time to go. Come on. We got to warm, warm up. Let's go. We need the helmet because this is an academy class and you have to wear a helmet. We have a little velvet cover so it looks all fancy. Look at you, all fancy. Time to get ready to warm up. Here she is. Here is Izzy. Hopefully the pants don't rip because that wouldn't be fun. There we go, all right. Oh, the color looks good. The vest looks really awesome. So much preparation. She's walking out to the practice arena right now. I got a little behind because I was talking to people. Ah, but now I got to catch up so we can get some great shots of her in on the horse. Ah, this is crazy. <laughs> Here she is, coming around. Yeah, those colors look great. Her vest looks like a good color. But I do see that her magnets have gotten all messed up on her back. We use magnets and pins to hold her number in place. And uh, yeah, they've, they've moved while waiting. Ooh, I'm getting nervous. And her number is definitely flopping. We have to get those buttons, those uh, magnets down. The last thing I want is for her number to come off in the middle of the show. Now I did use a safety pin at the top and I used magnets on the side, but the magnets have moved. I think her instructor is trying to adjust it, but she's like already up on the horse and she's really high. So ah, I hope I didn't just mess up her chances. That would be bad. I know it has nothing to do with how she rides the horse, but if your number falls off in the middle of a show, yeah, that's, that's not good. Okay, I just ran and got more pins and magnets <sighs> we got another pin at the bottom so yeah we should be good to go it's almost time Yee! your girl is out of shape that little run back and forth to the barn yeah I need to hit the gym all right it is so dark in here there she is the little tiny dot against the glow of the light here she comes Stay on the rail, stay on the rail. Oh, she, she's got a great smile. Yay, the smile is on point. Here she comes around in the canner. She's trotting. We just keep getting little drive-bys here for going back and forth. Here she is cantering. It is time to line up. Here she comes. Just turn and line up. Don't run over the judge. All right, she did good and she's parking out. She's so tiny, my camera can barely see her. They're about to announce the winners. Sixth place. Okay. <laughs> hey, she placed. Yay. Looks like a green ribbon, so that's sixth place. But hey, green is like one of my favorite colors. So yay. I thought she looked beautiful. I think she did a great job. And uh, I I'm, I'm, couldn't be prouder of her. All right, little pep talk right before the next class. The next class is showmanship. So in showmanship, remember they're judging how showy you are, your performance, your charisma on the horse. Are you beautiful with big, beautiful smile and and uh, you, you know how to space yourself out from the other horses and all those little fun tricks of the trade. So that is what's coming up next right after that one. So she's probably already tired, but you know, hey, she is a champ. There she is going in the arena right now. And she's on the rail, so here we go. A nice, pretty smile. So in showmanship, you're gonna see a lot of people cutting in front of other people. Everyone wants to be right there, looking pretty in front of the judge. And there she goes, doing that nice cut right in front of the judge. All right, make sure you stay nice and spaced out as you get back on the rail, because the judge is looking right now. She's transitioning to the walk right now. Don't transition in front of the judge. All right. Gotta walk, there you go. Nice transition, sit in your seat. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Looks good. And now they got a canter, but she's really close to the other horse. 
So she lets them go first, then she goes to the canner. Oh boy. She's cutting again to stay in front of the horse. Oh, don't walk him, don't walk in front of the judge. Yeah, she goes past the judge and then she gets the horse to walk. All right. There you go. Walk, 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 walk. There you go. Yay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see some of this because everyone's so far away, but it's nerve wracking. They've changed directions. Both of those two riders cut pretty close down the center. She needs to get back on the rail. She is like out in the middle of the arena. She needs to get back to the rail. There she goes. She's spaced out. Smart move. There you go. Walk, walk, walk. Good girl. Good girl. All right. I know she can't hear anything I'm saying, but I'm still saying it. And she's about to canter. Nice. Time to line up. Here they go. They're going to line up in front of the judge. And she's coming around. Just get them to walk. Get them to... Wow, this is like a hot mess right now. All these horses everywhere. All right, we are right in front of her this time. That little itty bitty spot right there in the middle. Bright yellow vest. Hope that helps. And she's parked out. <laughs> she's looking tired, but she did great. Just keep, get him to stand there. Just get him to stand there. All right, they're announcing the winners right now. First and second have already gone through. There goes third. Oh, pink ribbon this time. Pink ribbon, yay! We did it. It's better than last class. Yo, I think you did awesome. I love you. I love you. All right, let's go and get you off this horse so you can uh, relax for a moment. Cool with that? Having a little time to cool down. So, how you feel? My hands are literally shaking from like muscle spasms and stuff like that. Um, I I feel pretty good. I feel tired. Like that was actually like a workout. I'm like I was like breathing hard and stuff. I did smile. Like one of the biggest worries was like, am I gonna be able to smile? And I did smile. My first class was really rough. I got six, which I mean I placed. I didn't even think I was gonna place. So that's good. My form is, well, my form was actually, I think, good. My instructor told me that my form was good. It's just I couldn't get my horse to, like, walk. When he was supposed to be walking, he was, like, jumping a little bit. My second class I got was this fifth. Um, I think I should have got third because it was pretty good. But this is a very subjective sport. Uh, so, you know, it's really up to the judge. The most important question is, did you have fun? Yes, I had tons of fun. You looked like you were having fun. I had fun. That was a lot of prep work, like months of practice, late nights, trying to get these clothes done. For 10 minutes of writing. For 10 minutes of writing. A lot of prep, little show. Do you want to do this again? Sure. All right, well, I guess we better start practicing for the next one.